What's up guys and welcome to another episode of El Jardín Perito. As requested, I'm going to update you guys on some of my mulberry graphs. Alright guys, so I've done a previous video. I'll put a little card or a uh, link down below to it on some uh, different mulberry graphs. One of which, which has done very successful the second time around. One of which was uh, I had a male Pakistan mulberry and it was nice and big, set off flowers but no fruit, meaning it was a male. And so I took it down and I had a little trial and error. Um, I had some successful graphs and then some birds perched on it and broke it off. Anyway, this time around, I waited till it was just breaking out of dormancy in early, I think, late February, early March. So I grafted on an ever-bearing mulberry and uh, I'll have to double check on the second one. I think it was a uh, new Pakistan, but uh, let's go ahead and check that out. So here's the old rootstock. And as you can see here, this is the ever-bearing on this side taking off beautifully, pushing nice growth, it's doing awesome. Um, I have unwrapped it. The joints don't look too pretty, but eventually those will heal over. As for the other one, yes, it is a Pakistan. I have it roughly labeled with a P. And we have growth here. It's doing all right. I still have it wrapped up just because it's not really pushing. There's no need for it but when it gets a little more bigger, I'll probably unwrap it. Um, we don't have any issues with too much condensation in there or anything, so. But yeah, that one's looking pretty well too. So one thing you'll notice with that last one, the fact that it is a multi-graft. I've struggled this with my multi-graft uh, stone fruit tree, which I can, I will update you on later, but I can show you previous videos. But when you have multiple branches like that, the tree is going to favor one. There's also the factor of the variety might grow slower than the other one. So as I get more growth on that, I can prune accordingly. Um, there could be the chance that the tree picks one over the other. So we'll see about that. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated further down the road as that takes off more and hopefully we get some fruit soon. And so the other project I had was I had three wild mulberries. I put them in the ground. I dug them up from behind my yard. I put them in the ground just to establish shade. So after a while, I think to myself, why not graft some favorable varieties on there? Um, so we'll go check that out now. You can see I grafted these pretty high, but this is another ever bearing and they seem to take off really well. Um, but look at all that growth. And as I have uh, shoots down here, as I get shoots down here, um, this is what I do. I just, while they're young, I just flake them off. And there's actually some older ones here. But since we are getting more growth here, I might actually leave some of these to go as long as they don't compete too much and take out too much uh, energy out of the actual graft itself. This is the favorable, this is what we want to keep, this is the everbearing. So next up was the white Russian. Um, nothing yet, and it doesn't look bad, like it's not black or rotting. There is a potential bud here that's swelling a little bit, so we're just gonna have to give that one more time and see. There is a chance it could fail, but we'll see. Okay, the other one is going to be this Pakistan that I put on a wild mulberry. And that's the same as the other ever bearing there. There's a little bit of excess moisture under there. I could unwrap it, um, but it doesn't look too bad. I am seeing some swelling and breaking of the budding tape, but nothing, uh, you know, 100% sure thing green growth. But like I said, um, in the previous one, it's not black, it's not rotted. It's just not giving me a whole lot right now. So. I'll have to keep you guys updated on that further down the road too. All right guys, so for three out of the five, um, really doing well. I'm pretty stoked on this. Uh, the concept is pretty awesome. Mulberries are super easy to grow. You can even grow them from cuttings. Um, but I have noticed that it's been a bit of a challenge to graft them. The current success rate, I'm pretty happy with. I'll put a link down to those uh, previous videos. So if you guys are interested, 
you can go ahead and try to graph some yourself. I mean, it's a cool concept, especially the uh, multi-graft and having different varieties. I like the concept. Mulberries, certain varieties can be so short-lived. As a fruit, they do hold a longer uh, period of fruiting, especially the everbearing, but it is nice to have like different varieties. They can pollinate each other too and stuff. So there are a lot of benefits. Anyway guys, hopefully you thought this was interesting and helpful. Be sure to comment below if you have any questions or input that you'd like to add. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't by now. I do have a lot of videos of this nature, grafting, and other different tutorials you guys might be interested in. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.